activity you want to start with a blank Excel workbook. And we are going to save it. Go to File, Save, or you can click the disk here. That's the Save button. You're going to name it Keyboard Shortcuts. Click in your OneDrive. Find your Computers folder. And hit Save. I'm going to go down here and zoom in so you can see what I'm typing a little bit easier. So for this, we're going to try and make sure we're practicing using Home Row. So I'm going to be kind of calling you out on what fingers you can use to strike the keys to move about your Excel sheet as you set up your data table. First, we're going to set up the title, Keyboard Shortcuts. And even though it looks like I'm typing in B, I'm not. Just press Enter. The command here means like, what are we commanding the computer to do? So are we commanding it to save or open a new file? or bold or underline. Then with our left pinky, we're gonna press tap. So I just kind of arc it up and um, over. With that same pinky, I'm gonna strike caps lock and type PC, tab, Mac, tab, turn off caps lock and type keys. Right, the first command we're going to record is save. Press tab. On the PC, turn on your caps lock, the command key for save is control, tab, and on the Mac it's command, and tab, the key is S. Press enter. Turn off your caps lock, type new, tab, caps lock, control, command, in. And what that means is new file. So if I do command in here, oh, it's going to bring up a new book. So if I'm in Excel, it's going to bring up a new book. If I'm in Word, a new document. PowerPoint presentation, so it's kind of like a new file. So let's add that. So go up here to your formula bar, and after the word new, type file. Oops. All right. All right, go ahead and click back in A5. The next one's going to be open. And what that means here is I'm going to try and retrieve or open a file I've already created. So if I do Command O, it's going to go here to my open and I can see everything in my OneDrive. That's Excel. Press Tab, Caps Lock, Control, Command, O. Press Enter. The next one is Print. Tab. Caps Lock, Control, Command, think about it. What do you think it is? What has it been so far? It's been the first letter of the command, so it's P. All right, here's some more popular ones. Copy. We're going to press Tab, Caps Lock, Control, Command. Copy is C. Here's where we went into a little bit of confusion here, because if copy is C, what is cut? So we have control for the PC, command if you're on the Mac. So you're going to press and hold down on those keys, and then you're going to strike. It's actually X. Okay, so once you've copied something or cut it, you're going to want to paste it. Now, paste. P has already been taken. So for this, for paste, it's actually V, as in victory. Yay, I pasted. That's what I always say. All right, now we're going to 
practice that command V and command C. Let's go ahead and select control and command and do command C. Okay, it's going to put our marching ants around that. Just FYI, you can copy something one time and paste it as many times as you want. Now cut, you can only cut and paste once. All right, so we have it copied. So here we're going to do um, select all. Tab, turn on your control, command. It is actually control A. Oops, we copied that. I forgot to paste it. Let's try that again. Sorry. Okay, this time we're going to do undo. Okay, press tab. Do command V. Yay, then tab, tab, tab. Oops. Now we're going to have to press our press D11. Undo is not U like you would think it is. U is actually underline. Undo is command Z. So that is actually the same thing as this button. Okay? Sometimes, I rarely use this, but sometimes you want to redo. Let's go ahead and paste those. Um, actually, the other day in class, I said how I never normally use redo, and I'm not kidding, like two minutes later, a student was having trouble, and I showed them how to redo. <laughs> so apparently I use it more than I think I do. Okay, so the command key there is control Y. We're going to go over what command R is here in a minute. Okay, so you can go ahead and continue to enter all those shortcuts as it says or as we're doing in class, either way. Um, but there's a couple that are confusing, so I'll go ahead and enter those here so you can see how we're doing those. So the first one is print screen or uh, sc screenshot. Okay, so on the PC, the screenshot is going to be, um, it's actually print screen. Now, someone, when I were going over this in class said, wait, it's not on, I don't see print screen on my keyboard. You don't because you're on a Mac. But on a PC keyboard, there's actually, it says print screen. Sometimes it's actually uh, written out, but on the Mac for a full screenshot it's command plus shift plus three okay and um for the next one for like to crop your your screenshot your pc i don't know that one but on the Mac, it's command plus shift plus four. Okay. Now these are getting cut off. So I'm going to go up here. Um, it's okay here to go ahead because we're not actually typing anything in C and D. But if we wanted to, we could just auto fit that. See how crop screenshot. And actually, let's go up here before the word screenshot and do full screenshot. Okay. And then the other one that students are a little confused as to how to type out would be force quit. So on the PC, that is control plus all plus delete. And yes. Do you use those three keys for a lot of things? Yes, but if you're like if it's frozen and you need to get out of it, Control Delete will work. Let's go ahead and spell out Delete, and then auto fit it. And then on the Mac, it's actually Command plus Option plus Escape. here and auto fit between C and D. Again, 
if you are completing the second part of this for the part in class, you need to go to that page and complete all of the shortcut commands. I just did these to kind of help you to know how to put those into your table. When we go to format, here, so you might need to pause this and go ahead and finish entering those commands and then come back. To format this, we're gonna select A1 through D1. So I put my cursor in the middle of A1, click and hold with my right pointer finger and I drag to D1. So I only use one hand on my trackpad. I know some of you guys are two-handed. I think that's kind of confusing, but um, either way, press and hold and drag with another finger. Merge and center, bold, and then make it a little bit bigger. Here we're gonna select A2 through D2, bold and center. Fill those a color, your choice. And then select all of your commands and your information here, your data, and choose center. Now again, your table is going to go down further, so you're going to select all of your information there. So if you just start in A1 and go down, it's going to select A through D down to the end of your data table there. Go up here to your borders button and choose all borders. All right, then hit save and go ahead and submit this when you have entered all of the shortcuts.